Conservatives that he's returned to the party to where it belongs, in the centre ground of British politics. In a conference speech in Perth, Mr Cameron said he tried to reach out to Scots who'd never voted Tory. There's only one Conservative MP in Scotland. He also pledged to fight the SNP's push for independence. Our Scottish political editor, Brian Taylor, is in Perth tonight. Brian, what did Mr Cameron's speech today reveal about his strategy? I think this was designed to work on a couple of levels, Fiona. It's almost a calculated ambivalence. On the one hand, it is an assertion of strength. A declaration at this coming contest will be a British general election on British issues, and the Tories argue that the SNP have no relevance in that contest. The Nationalists, of course, dispute that. On the other hand, Mr Cameron is also seeking to, to acknowledge, to cope with the Tories' relative weakness in Scotland by conceding the SNP mandate over devolved matters because Alex Hammond is the First Minister. He's stressing the union, is David Cameron, but he's also offering devolution respect. I would be a Prime Minister who acts on the voice of the Scottish people and who works for consent and consensus. And whenever, whenever the precious union between our two countries is under threat, this party, the party of the United Kingdom, will rise to the challenge and defend it with all our passion, with all our fight and in all our strength. Now, they loved that, did the representatives, they loved that assertion of the union, but David Cameron was reminding them that the Tories had been, had had a difficult relationship with the issue of devolution in the past. He said they must get over that. The modern Conservatives, he said, must accept devolved Scotland. Brian Taylor in Perth, thank you. A Georgian athlete has been killed 